Welp, he's finally dead. For really reals. The series is over. Yeah. Technically, the series is kind of over. Um, uh, Param- <laughs> Paramount gave up the rights to it after this, and then New Line Cinema made their Jason movies. Wait, so the next one is... Oh, yeah, it's... It's um, Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and then Jason vs. Freddy. They're not called Friday the 13th anymore. So I'm Why? Gonna... <laughs> so, this is how Paramount wanted their crowning achievement... <laughs> This is this is their their high note that they want to leave out on. <laughs> yeah, their Jason movie that's named after a Muppets movie. The one where Jason is a boy again, but he's dead. And <laughs> well, she that- kept having like the hallucinations of like young Jason, so I think the boy at the end was just another. Okay, maybe we should back up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Here. So, so at the end... No, 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 at the beginning. we got to start at the beginning, Matt. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's where you start. Forgot. <laughs> Did you really? So you've been watching Memento too many times. <laughs> so, this one's about a bunch of gra- high school graduates who get on a boat to go to New York. And it takes them an hour to get there. It takes an hour and four minutes for Jason to get m- to Manhattan... In Jason Takes Manhattan. I mean, to be fair, once he does get to Manhattan, that is easily the best part of the movie. Yeah, because it gets much better after that point. It, it, it feels like the, the first hour is just filler, you know, the standard tropes. Until you finally get to the, you know, the, you get to Manhattan. Uh, and then there were some funny moments, I don't think intentionally. Yeah, when, when, but like, there's a solid break in the movie. I think it it feels like the mixed elements from part six and part seven. So it's like half really boring, half okay. This movie knows what it is and is trying to be goofy, right? So you kind of mixed tone there, yeah. which makes it better than most. Of yeah, Friday the 13th. Th- so. I mean, this was fun, and I- I'm glad that the fun part is later in the movie because you feel you feel good about it once the movie is over and done with. But um, this this movie, uh, what else happened in here? It was very 80s. <laughs> it was very. 80s. Even though I'm pretty sure this came out in the 90s. It came out in '89. Okay. But this was Although like... if you're following the timeline, this was like 93 or 94. <laughs> We're like in the early 2000s in the timeline <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, okay. This movie. <laughs> I mean, they get to Manhattan. Uh, What's-her-face gets kidnapped. Yeah. That, when, I, when, I, when that came up in the movie, I was like, man, this is just... It was just to pad the body count so he, yeah, Jason could show up and, like, kill the people. Um, like, a lot of the supporting cast got... I mean, they got kills apart from Jason, and it wasn't even Jason's fault that they died. Yeah, two people die in this movie, not at Jason's hands. <laughs> Apparently people just die like that. Yeah, one, one guy loses his glasses and accidentally shoots someone, and then the girl wrecks the car... And because 80s movie cars always result in an explosion, the car explodes with her teacher inside. So she also dies. Not Jason's and then, fault. And then there's this scene at the very end where, like, they've, they've set up this uh, boxer who's like, you know, they've got a ring <laughs> yeah. on, the, on the ship, and he's, like, really good, he's never defeated, and stuff like that. And then you get to the scene where he and Jason have to fight off, and he just starts punching him over and over. He like, punches this dude for like a minute and a half. Yeah. And, like, nothing else happens. Like, Jason just sort of sits there and takes it. And <laughs> it's then like, he's like... It's like Jason. J- Jason, he's, he's, he's like this far away from you. You just go... Yeah. Dead? It's not hard. <laughs> but then it, the, the boxer dude is like, all right... He's like, he's like all tuckered out, and he's like, take your best shot. And Jason wheels back and punches the dude's head off, and it goes off of a five-story building into a dumpster, and the lid closes. 
There are so many moments in all of these movies that remind me of the game Mad World. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes makes surprisingly more sense. Um, so that at the end of the movie, they're trying to escape Jason. They crawl down into the sewers, and there's like a dude down there, and he's like, "Oh, like at midnight every night, we flood the sewers with toxic waste." I don't okay. think that's a real thing that happens in New York. Maybe you New Yorkers can tell us. There's a lot of graffiti in this city for New York. I've been to New York. There was not that much graffiti. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, but, I don't... Th- this movie mistakes toxic waste for acid. Which... Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of confusing. So then they're, they're like getting out and like Jason, like obviously Jason gets caught up in all the acid and it melts him. And then like the, it goes away and there's like a little boy there. And Apparently it's like, that's young Jason. Is that, is that real young Jason or is she imagining young Jason? And then they just climb out of the sewer. Apparently they were like locked in into the sewer and then the, the next scene just cuts and they're out and it's like hey I heard there's a Statue of Liberty around here you want to go climb it it's like hell yeah let's go and then the movie just cuts well no cause then the dog shows up oh yeah the dog lives there's a dog in this movie and he lives he really lives <laughs> you see oh this so uh, Jason, Jason, in, it's been implied, has some form of teleportation power. It's in full effect in this movie. Yeah. He straight up teleports in this movie. <laughs> like, before it'd be like... This movie is pre uh, post-emptively making me uh, sleepy. <laughs> like, previously it's been like, oh, Jason's way away. Turn around, Jason's, like, right behind them. Or like, oh, he's up on the roof. Look away, look back, no longer on the roof. But this one, it's like, no, he had to teleport. <laughs> There's no other way to explain Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he, he teleports inside the building, and then he throws the dude outside of the building, and then he teleports back down to, um... And like... Unless Jason is just... Because he walks so slowly. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, once he's out of sight, he just bolts. (laughs) It's like, alright, I'm gonna walk slowly while they're watching. Are they watching? Are they gone? (laughs) Alright. I'm in front of you! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I... I, Okay, if if the series keeps going in this direction, and Jason goes to hell... Is as good as I think it's going to be. It's probably not. I have high hopes. I don't think it is. At least for Jason X. Yeah, Jason X should be fun. Um, this one's... It's got moments, but it's also slow in parts. Um, uh, watch, watch the part where he actually takes Manhattan. Well, there there's parts before that that I think are worth watching. I don't know, like... Keep a fast-forward button handy. Yeah. Like, kind of watch the beginning, watch, like, the first 20 minutes or so, and then you can kind of skip around, like, well, let's see what else is happening in this movie. Oh, he's in Manhattan. Okay, this is worth watching. Yeah. See ya. Touching a hand, wondering why it's time for saying.